Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our first deck of the day, which is going to be a donation deck for Gruul Stompy. So we have two donation decks to start the, the stream off with today. Um, ooh, we should probably change the card sleeve back. So let's go with Gruul. Let's do that. There we go. So this is like a hexproof version of Green Stompy because we have the Fine Mares in here. This is a card that you don't see very much of these days, but you know, we got four of them in here. So we'll kind of see how it goes with uh, Rhythm of the Wild. So Vine Mare used to see a lot of play in Standard, but then Deafening Clarion kind of kind of killed Vine Mare. Like people stopped playing Vine Mare whenever Jeskai Control. This is before Ravnica Allegiance came out. Jeskai Control was the most popular control deck with Teferi, and uh or well, i mean sorry this is yeah so this is before ravnica allegiance but after guilds of ravnica so they had the teferi deafening clarion niv mizzet stuff like that and so like the the main deck that you wanted uh your vine mirror against the control deck they had deafening clarion which is a really good answer to it it's never been a good card against sultai which has also been like the big strike against this elemental horse because uh, usually merfolk branch walker is a three two if not jade light ranger is certainly a three two and those trading your four drop hexproof threat that like you're you're trying to win with with a Merfolk branch walker it's not a good trade for you so i'm interested to try it out though with and so like it kind of went away but this this deck that, that we had donated for has it with rhythm of the wild and i hadn't really thought about this but rhythm of the wild can you know obviously a hasted vine mare is pretty cool on an empty battlefield but making it a six four so it doesn't die to deafening clarion also, Deafening Clarion doesn't see Nero as much play anymore. That's separate. But being a 6-4 makes it a lot harder for Jade Light and Merfolk Branchwalker to trade with it. You know, Jade Light still can, of course, but it's, you know, it's more difficult. So I kind of like the 6-4 here. And besides that, Sultai is not, you know, nearly as, uh, nearly, like, all over as it used to be. So there's not just tons of Jade Light Rangers running around also. So other part, against other parts of the metagame, Vine Mare can just kill people really, really quickly. So that looks like a an interesting card to try out. We also got the Carnage Tyrants also. Uh, I like that we have two Ravager Worms. This card's just so much fun to play. And look at that art. Wow, that is incredible. So excited to play some Ravager Worms. It's, it has really, really nice animation. And that's kind of our deck over here. We have two cinder vines i kind of wish we had some more but we do have the two crushing canopies also so we have like four ways to kill wilderness reclamations uh which is good a couple sorcerers by glasses for teferi and we got some null hide ferox also if we need some more hex proof we play against a discard deck yeah so that's what we have here with gruel stompy so let's go ahead and try this out Let's change our avatar to Damre. Yeah, there are some cool cards in this deck. You can get behind Rhythm, Vine Mare, and Ravager Worm any day. Me too. Me too. This is, um... Those are some fun cards to play. Let's try it out. Have y'all are y'all hearing any sound from the game from Arena here? I have not heard any sound. Usually I can hear the game sounds and everything. No game sound. I wonder why that is. That's that's my normal settings. Is this just power? Yeah, it's just power, not power or toughness. So I can play Incubation Druid this turn to play Vine Mare the next turn. So what... What would cause... All right, so you know how, like, we've been having the lag problems recently and everything. What 
one thing that I did do yesterday, uh, we ended the stream a little early, but I, I did uh, download or like up, updated the graphics card here on on the PC. Does that mean that there's just no more? Hey, McCarty. Hey, Matthew. Weird. Looks like we're playing against a Star of Extinction deck. It's not... Is it Phoenix? So they have River's Rebuke, Pirate's Pillage over here. Look to be a, a big mana, blue-red based control deck. So like, likely a Star of Extinction deck. Press sound thingy in your taskbar. Yeah, I bet you're right there. I bet that's, I bet that is what is messed up right now. All right, I'll try to figure that out here in just a second. It could be a thousand year storm deck also, yeah. Basically, I'm not sure exactly what's supposed to be the default de device. Hmm. 
Let's just give both these pulp collectors haste and hit them for two. All right, never mind, because we're not hitting them for two. So what am I supposed to choose for my playback sound? One mana short from playing Rhythm Plus, Fine Mare. Let's go Growth Chamber Guardian, Vine Mare to make these Pell Collectors 3 threes. Hey, what's up, Nat? So when you install the new graphic card driver, like you said you did, sometimes Windows selects your graphic card to be the sound card also. I'm basically, I'm worried about for how I'm doing, like I'm already doing like the YouTube recording where I have separate audio tracks here, like where the music is going towards the recording, but it's not, and like the stream, or sorry, it's going towards the stream, but it's not going towards the recording. I'm kind of worried about like messing with, like trying to mess with this arena sound of like, and not messing with the other sounds kind of, you know what I mean? It's like I'm already using an audio router right now. And so there's just so many options. <laughs> so I've been just kind of looking at that. All right, so yeah, maybe they're a storm deck. They got these rivers rebukes. That's not a common card to see. They're like blink of an eye, rivers rebuke. Hmm. Let's get another coil in here. And get these cinder vines in here. Could go crushing canopy if they are a thousand year storm, but we don't know exactly if they are or not. Could be five color mastery, yeah. It honestly could be. Well, Carnage Tyrant is good and everything. I'm not sure if we need like a six mana creature. Honestly, at least at least one that doesn't have haste automatically. I'm gonna trim one Rhythm of the Wild. As we're already bringing in some other permanents and everything, I wanna keep the creature count high. <laughs> My opponent does have a lazy name. Wait, our opponent had chance for glory? You saw a chance for glory from our opponent? Because if that's the case, they're definitely Lich's mastery. Okay, so they are, they discarded that. So yeah, they're definitely a Lich's mastery deck.
Test. All right, can y'all hear me now? Looks looks like it should be working again. Okay. So you got sound for me now. Steal my land war elf. It's rude. Okay, I'm back. So I can I can figure out how to get like my like my audio here, but now now I think I don't I don't really know how to get my music audio back now. So now we don't have music audio or you know, before at least we had music to go along with you know we didn't have we had no game sounds but we had music and now i don't know how to get the music back either so now we have no game game sounds or music <clears throat> and we were victorious in the game so that's good. Well, <laughs> of course, Matthew, the YouTube videos, they never have music. Of course, they. Uh, you can't put up music on YouTube. You're not allowed to. Okay, so... None, none of my YouTube videos will ever have music. Like, they never have music. I'm... Can y'all hear music right now? No? Okay. This is a riveting video that I'm recording right now for, for YouTube. Hmm.
All right, there's there's just something really wrong right now. This is annoying. I probably just need to reset my computer, honestly. There's some setting that's 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 messed up that I I must have messed up and it won't go back. Like no matter what I try, like it like it's it's not going back. So like I think I have to reset my computer to have it go back to where it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was there for a second. It's not working. Yeah, so there's, so that works, but that is not, yeah, that, it, so the problem with that is that that is not being routed anymore like it's supposed to be routed, so that would just be on the YouTube video, and I can't, you know, obviously I can't have that. Uh, I just have, I just have to reset the computer. So I'm I'm going to do that after after the league So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to wait till after the league to restart the computer to get music back. So I don't want to um I mean, I guess I could have just restarted the YouTube video for this and everything. We'll see.
Okay, so you're telling... Yeah, so the... Huh. So, like, this just keeps freezing up, huh? That's weird. And this audio went away. This so maybe I'm just going to have to completely reset this. Restart, restart this. All right, so we have the coil for that thing, but I wish they would have played it last turn so I could have coiled this turn because now we're sitting at like having Vivian or Lava Coil one or the other. Can't do both. And yeah, I guess I just do the Lava Coil. I don't know. Maybe I actually just play Vivian. I'm going to play Vivian actually. What if I just ignore the Electromancer? Hmm. Well, hey, what's up, Duke? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Well, good news was we. Uh, update this graphics card and, and I think it's going to lag less. I think that that was an important part as far as lagging goes. I could just start this whole league over. No white ferox is pretty big, but I guess I have I'm bringing in a lot of non-creature spells though. That's a big problem. Get rid of Pell Collector. It's on its own, it's weakest card. And I guess a couple of Rhythm of the Wilds. I just wish stuff worked on my stream. Just. Why? It'd be really nice if things just worked. I like having Harpooner and Crushing Canopy. We just need to draw green mana. Yes, next Thursday is when the next set comes out. Uh, 
Okay. Got a lot of mountains over here. This deck only has 16 green sources. That's kind of surprising. Having 8 green 1 drops. It's pretty surprising. Seacubation Druid is 100% dead. But I'm glad they're not really drawn any more lands. You know, we play a Vine Mare next turn. Vine Mare can take over. Dang it. Well, I didn't mean draw a Vine Mare, of course. I meant... <clears throat> Essence Scatter? Who the heck plays that card? Todd Thinks Emote? They have drawn so many cards here. It's kind of unreal that they've only like now seen five lands. They've drawn a a full eleven cards more than we have. So need the instant speed removal here to be able to take a dive down and then we can untap or negate and then we can untap and still kill this thing. And I guess it's better to use another crushing canopy. Because if they if they dive down or a harpooner, we still have the harpooner to block. Yeah, so no, I, I don't think I could really activate there because of um, wanting to end step a, a removal spell for a drake. Because I certainly thought they had a drake. So Carnage Tyrant can kill the Ral. Looks like our opponent has some kind of counterspell in hand. Maybe a Disdainful Stroke. Looks like they had some kind of counterspell with that blue mana there. McCarty, I don't even know what you mean.
Hey, Techstar. Right, so you, you want the songs to be playing like here on stream? Because that, that can't happen with me having a YouTube recording. Josu for the zombie deck. I mean, depends on, on what you want for your zombie deck. If, if you're trying to have a zombie deck that can produce a lot of mana and that wants to go, it wants to play late games and, you know, that you have like a mid range, like if you have like a mid range zombie deck that has the ability to produce 10 mana, then Josu is great. Um, but as a, a four, four mana, four or five menace is not really that good in, in standard for a card. Okay, so we're one and one. Let's see. Well, at least we got four lands. Let's go ahead and keep this. <laughs> yeah, they did have Essence Scatter and Essence Capture. They were definitely really counterspell heavy. But, I mean, we were just really slow. They had they had a really good hand there of being able to draw a ridiculous number of cards in that game, too. They had, you know, as I said there, you know, during, you know, what was it, like turn six or so, that they had already drawn 11 more cards than us. You just can't, you know, it's hard to compete with that. I think, Tane, I think that Sultai is the best deck. If, if I had to say, like, one deck, you know, to to grind with in best of three constructed events, I would just say Sultai. Whatever deck you pick, I think that picking a, a power levy, level, sorry, a power level heavy, yeah, a power level heavy deck Basically, a deck with a really high power level is a good choice because you do face, um, you will face some um, like beginner decks, uh, which we've seen more with over the past month or so, more beginner decks in the constructed event, and having a deck where you have just tons and tons of just good cards, and you're not really relying on on synergy as much. You just have a bunch of good cards in your deck is a good place to be. So this is the problem with Vine Mare. This is this is why Vine Mare hasn't seen very much play in the format is because of Sultai or if this is just Golgari, whatever. It's because of these cards just being these things just matching up, you know, incredibly well against Vine Mare. Like look you know, like I can't even get through a, a Merfolk branch walker. You know, not being able to get through a two drop is is pretty crazy. I don't know why our opponent's not attacking. It doesn't really make much sense. We could already be dead right now. But I guess they're trying to protect Vivian, I guess. All right, looks like upgrading the graphics card. Not only is ruin some audio stuff for the slight bit right now, but that's, as you can see here, this is not helping out the lag problems. Talk about a frustrating start to the stream. Just can't get anything to work.
Questions, what do you think about running Deputy of Detention in Azorius? It, it all depends on the rest of the deck. Like, if you're playing a control deck, you don't want the creature. If you're playing an Azorius creature deck, that's where you could maybe play it. You don't... Like, when you're playing a, a control deck, you're going to want uh, Wrath effects, uh, effects that destroy all the creatures. And therefore, you're not going to want to be playing creatures. Also, like, the slower your deck is, the worse Deputy of Detention is also. Because the sl slower you are, the more opportunity your opponent just has to draw a removal spell and get their card back. I don't really see how we're going to win this game. This is the nightmare matchup for our deck. They just they do a similar thing, but on a completely different level. Like I guess lava coil, lava coil is good, but Vimeir is not really playable. And the problem is, is none of these other cards are either. I guess I could play Nullhide Ferox. I guess. Could be bad if we draw like a Vivian or, or something. Or, I don't know. We'll see if that we'll see how this works. Nullhide's certainly better than Vinemare though. Thanks, Mike. Okay. We have like the perfect first two turns. This kind of deck that we have here, like with the, all these vine mares and everything, this this gruel stompy deck is is really built to beat uh, control decks. Um, and like removal heavy decks. That's what we're really built to be with all these hexproof creatures. I think I'm going to go ahead and haste this. I'm down to eight. This could, you know, of course, just be a Chupacabra that kills the 4-4, four, four, and then they get to double block the 3-3. Three, three. Okay, not a Chupacabra. So we have, we'll have 10 Trample on the battlefield here. So we got pretty fortunate there with a we got getting a game on the play where we had our, our best start and they didn't do anything besides like a jade light on three and then a contempt on four. You know, they had a really, really slow start. I'm not expecting that kind of thing to happen again on the draw for us here, but you never know. You never know what can happen in a game. They could get terrible hands where they have to mulligan all the time. Not us get terrible hands where it's mulligan all the time. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I might need to keep this. It's obviously a big risk, but five cards isn't winning. I mean, well, five cards could win, but I don't know. These, This could work. I 
So, yo, the reason to keep this kind of hand is we are going to need to get, like, we're going to need to get real lucky on, like, our average five is not going to come anywhere close to winning. These are, like, cards that could potentially win if we get very lucky, like how we're getting lucky right now. And I just need to keep a hand, you know, I need to keep a hand that, that could possibly win. There's a there's a possibility it can win. And these can. Um, so I'm not sure if I want a Pelt Collector or if I want a Lava Coil of this Land War Elf. I'm not sure which one of those two I want to do. They have two lands, four other cards. Going with the Pell Collector. Do getting rid of the Land of War Elf, of course, does slow them down, but it doesn't really help us win. For us to win this, we're gonna need them just to have bricks in hand, and not ha let you know, not just have them have. Like if they're just gonna curve out with the Lanor Elf, anyway, they can just curve out one turn later, and still beat us. Well, this deck is certainly not a ramp deck. It's def definitely not a ramp deck. We do have the, like, we have mana acceleration. Um, but no, this, this is an aggro deck. I guess, I guess it's it's kind of a mid-range deck, too, I guess. It's like, yeah, it's a, it's a mid-range aggro deck. I suppose. So I guess just mid range. They haven't been playing lands. So they have other spells in hand. Do they have their own Carnage Tyrants? They do. I really, really wish I could play Phoenix plus Coil, but we don't have we don't have the third red, and I I could have got another red whenever they Assassin's Trophied. But you know, at at the time we didn't have like this this other forest either. Ooh. That's an interesting one. Let's go haste. Eat this branch walker. Ooh. 
guess I could destroy the Mor Memorial to Folly also, though. Looks like we're going to pull this off. Avenger Worm was a great, great draw step there. And them just having Eldest Reborn. Eldest Reborn was not a good card for them. As you can tell, it didn't, did nothing. All right, we're two and one. That worked out pretty well. So that's that's really disappointing. It's lagging again. Man, I was hoping that the upgrades and stuff that I did last night was going to fix the, the lag problems. And not only did that, but it also messed up my sound. Not only didn't fix that. So I'll be taking a little time to try to fix the sound after the league. All right, let's get this Carnage Tyrant out as soon as possible. Johnny's Pirate Mate can go crazy. That thing can even get bigger than Carnage Tyrants. That's not ideal. I could see them attacking with the Pride Mate here. That's a good good attack for us. Let's just go ahead and trade our Lanor L for this thing. Because that primate was going to get really big and scary. Oh, wow. They didn't even... Didn't even kill the Llanowar Elf. Go, Carnage Tyrant, go. This is looking really good for us. I don't know how, like, it's going to be tough for them to deal with Carnage Tyrant now. The Pride Mate's gone. They're going to need another Pride Mate, basically. All right. Incubation Druid can now no longer attack or block. That spoiler is not going to be attacking or blocking. Three, four, five. So basically, I could have played another three three. I, you know, I could have like played it as a th as a three three with the counter on and immediately grabbed another one, played one more. We would have been one one mana off. Instead, I'm just going I'm just going four four haste and putting the other one in our hand. Haste. All right, well, Carnage Siren has Trample. Hey Zerf, not going too well. 
I was like excited to to stream here. Thought that I'd fix some stuff, updated like the graphics card and everything, and was hoping that that was going to take out some of the lag issues. This thing is like performance issue like that, and it did not help. And for the time being, my sound is now messed up because of it. Does why you don't hear any music playing. But I will fix the try to fix that between leagues here. Playing Cannonade is not really so great whenever we have all these things that die to Cannonade. I'm gonna just get out, get Pell Collector out of here, actually. Let's try that. Oh, hey, today's your birthday, man. Happy birthday. Dude, Zerf, happy birthday. I didn't know that. It's, yeah, Sippy, that's not the issue. I've, I've already looked into that one. That That's not the issue. Because it, it happens all the time even when I'm not, when I'm not uploading anything, it still happens. So yeah, I can shock in for Lana War Elf. <laughs> there we go, there's something to punish me. I didn't really have anything to do the next turn anyway, so decided just to keep my 20 life, play it easy. We still have these other things on turn three. And let's go with this Vine Mare against Swamp Swamp. Oh, that's awesome too. You had a job interview that you crushed. Way to go. Attack. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, you have a wonderful night, Zerf. All right, we're going to just keep attacking over here. Don't really have anything to use a lava coil on yet. So don't need to use that quite yet. <clears throat> what you got over there, opponent? Vampire Sovereign. That's a good one. Does some drain life. It's a good target for the lava coil. Let's go haste. Bash on in there. We're going to do five damage. Well, that's pretty cool. What does this thing do? When it attacks, defending player discards a card. Put into a graveyard from anywhere. Put a little... All right, victory. We are now three and one. Oh, I didn't update our record earlier. Three and one with our donation deck here with the Gruel Stompy. 
with our hexproof Stompy. We got turn three Vine Mare out that game. Yeah, with with that matchmaking, with these events, you basically can just play against anybody who plays in them. So, you know, like they spent their they spent the thousand gold to enter the event, and so they get basically paired against anybody else who did as well. Hey, Dodger Dog. They try to match up based on record, but they also match up quickly. So if you know, even though we were two and one, we could we could certainly play against somebody who was zero and zero at two and one. Like that's not uncommon at all. I was hoping with our first couple draws here, we'd find something else to fill our curve in. Doesn't look like it. Sultai again. We were really lucky to beat Sultai last time. Not so sure it's going to happen again, but we do have Carnage Tyrant next turn, which is good. All right, I guess it was just a Golgari. It was Golgari last time. It wasn't quite Sultai, but... And even Carnage Tyrant gets taken down by two Jade Lights. And the Jade Lights already both replaced themselves. They already drew lands and everything. So, of course, ideally here I could play Ravager Worm and eat a Jade Light and be able to attack in with, like, the Carnage Tyrant. They have, they have like, the Incubation Druid they can make a 3-5. And they also have, like, the mana up where if they have a removal spell like Cast Down or Contempt, they can just cast it on the Ravager Worm there. Or that thing. So I don't want to like try to like fight something with the Ravager Worm where they just kill the Ravager Worm in response. Kind of thing. Hmm. I actually wanted just to find a land here and play Rekindling Phoenix also. That's honestly what I wanted to do here. Hey, what's up, Jones? Just start playing Arena finally. What's the best way to build competitive decks and get the wow cards? Don't want to play competitive with the pre-built decks. Um, yeah, the yeah, of course, getting some some you know buying gems, of course, is the the fastest way. There is the five dollar bundle is a is a really good value. I'd, I'd recommend uh, at least getting that five dollar bundle. Uh, Hazy Bosch. But besides that, hmm. Let's get some pelt collectors out here. <clears throat> besides that, there's not really a better thing to do than 
then just like make sure you get all your your gold each each and every day. Uh, how you can get either twelve hundred and fifty or fifteen hundred gold each day, and then if you're if you like limited, I'd recommend saving that gold for limited and doing the five thousand gold drafts. That's a really good way to build a collection and and everything. I think I think that's more valuable than just opening five boosters. Um, that's a, of course if you like drafting uh, and everything, and and it's a you know, drafting is a really good way to get better also. So our opponent has find finality. And do I want, so if I, if I block with the two Pelt Collectors, they just cast find and get their two Jade Lights back and are able to play both Jade Lights and then this Wild Growth Walker is huge. I'm going to block one with a Pelt Collector, and I'm going to block the other one with a Llanowar Elf. So they have to choose if they want to use Finality, which will which will kill the Phoenix and the Pelt Collector now, or if they want to use Find. All right, that is certainly annoying. Certainly annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Well, now blocking blocking with that land off means I don't get to like ravage a worm, eat this. Could, can't ravage a worm, eat the phoenix, and play anything else. So I'm just going to double spell here. I hope they don't have a removal spell for the phoenix, because I want to be able to have my phoenix block their phoenix kind of thing. That's not good. We still have Vivian, though. So we're still good there. All right, let's eat the Wild Growth Walker. And attack in with Carnage Siren. Yeah, a lot of people are saying the cheap aggro tribal. That's a good opening deck. No. All right, well, Vivian finally out of there. But we have done a very good job of
grinding them out. Yeah, their Kindling Phoenix Egg doesn't do anything, because the Phoenixes are in our graveyard. Well, have a look at that. We defeated Sultai. We got a game. It required having both Vivians, but the Vivians were great. Come on. There you go, little buddy. That's what we did last time. What if I have Fiery Cannonade? What's Fiery Cannonade going to do? Not a whole lot. It can like finish off some creatures after a finality, I suppose. No, there's no sound from, there's no other sound right now besides me. Uh, having technical difficulties with the sound, I, I'm going to need to restart the computer and planning on doing that after this league. So this is definitely a sketchy hand, but as we've talked about before with this deck and this matchup, this is a hand that can that can possibly win. You know, we have like the Land Werewolf on turn one, Incubation Druid on two. We could, could even play Vivian on three or, you know, like one of these things. We, of course, need to draw a red source, but we're on the draw. We have like two draws to find a red source just to start with. Like we're not... The game's not over if we don't draw the red source because we... We still have like incubation druid next turn. Risk is not paying off right now. You cannot get Rekindling Phoenix out of opponent's graveyards. The Rekindling Phoenix token does state that you can grab a Phoenix from your own graveyard with it. If you have if you have your own Rekindling Phoenix in your graveyard and you steal an opponent's Rekindling Phoenix egg, then you can grab your own Rekindling Phoenix out of your graveyard with that egg. So the, our risk paid off earlier when we had a similar hand, did not pay off that time. So 
So we will retry for game three. Looks like, come on, opponent. Come on. We're still three and one though, and even if we lose this, going, going one and one against these mid-range decks, is really not bad for us. Like that's, that's pretty good. All right, I like how we get Rhythm of the Wild, and then we can make Spellbreaker a five-five, so Spellbreaker doesn't die to finality. I like that. Ooh. Gosh, why don't I have more red mana? <laughs> um... So they had Hinchelin Harbor, Hinchelin Harbor. I feel like this is their plan is to play a Jade Light Ranger this next turn. Ooh. Keep slowing them down. No Jade Light for you. Dang. I tried. <laughs> More cards. So next turn I can play Pell Collector plus Spellbreaker, and then the, the Pell, like both of them can block this Jade Light Ranger. You know, we have two things that can block a Jade Light. Ugh. Gosh, Jade Light's so good. Gets rid of these bricks. All right, one one counter. One one counter. One one counter. One one counter. <laughs> no, you. Tokens cannot get rekindling phoenix tokens cannot get cannot get rekindling phoenixes from opposing graveyards no matter what like your token can't get their phoenix their token can't get your phoenix the the token and the phoenix have to be on the same side of the battlefield no matter which side it's on
So one one counter haste. Counter counter. Counter counter. All right, Vivian did pretty good for us, though. Man, drawing a Carnage Tyrant or Ravager Worm here would be awesome. But this is a lot of large bodies. They are not close to finality right now. Yeah, Rhythm of the Wild, Growth Chamber Guardian is a nice combo. That is a, that is a nice combo there. Oh, yeah, Rekindling Phoenix would be great also. Yep, absolutely. Whew! Ravager Worm. dun da da dun Riot, Riot, Riot. So we'll go 1-1 one, one counter, 1-1 one, one counter, Haste. Fight, Spellbreaker. And Boom! Rhythm of the Wild looked very impressive there. The Pelt Collectors did a whole lot. You know, just being one mana creatures that we got to just throw down and everything. Our opponent got stuck on lands. Which we did a good job of helping out with those Lava Coils on the Land War Elves. And, yeah, Vivian got a, a few creatures. And we got to unload our hand. And, yeah, Girls Chamber Guardian being the multiple bodies. Because, you know, like the first Growth Chamber Guardian traded with the Jade Light that they had that was the 4-3. And then we had a couple left over. So opponent has their Rekindling Phoenix in their graveyard. They steal my Rekindling Phoenix with Hostage Taker. I cast down. Now they have an egg. Can this egg rig raise their Rekindling Phoenix from their graveyard? Yes. Yep. That can happen. It doesn't... It, the Rekindling Phoenix egg does not check which Phoenix or anything because they're just in Graveyard. So all it does is just check, do you have a Rekindling Phoenix in your Graveyard on your upkeep? If so, you may return that Rekindling Phoenix. You know, you may re you may target any Rekindling Phoenix in your Graveyard to, re to come back onto the battlefield. <laughs> Rhythm of the Wild, newest rock band. That is... Hey, did y'all get that new Rhythm of the Wild album? Just called Wild for short. You going to the Wild concert? Hmm. Stop playing Soul Tide decks. I don't. I don't like facing all these Soul Tide decks. We've got. <laughs> we've won two. We've gotten lucky twice. I'm not liking. Our chances in the third one. Yeah, I wish we could get final boss music right now. Hmm. It's the rhythm of the wild. Yeah, we're I have having technical difficulties with sound right now. Hey, Narnan. Good afternoon. Hmm. I mean, I want to play Incubation Druid. It's only going to be a 1-3, and then they get to attack with, for at least 6. I 
Why does it do like the whole? It it turns into a six six at first and then goes back to five five. Like I don't I don't know what that's about. Um, I updated the graphics card. I was hoping that was going to stop lag issues. It did not. That's game. Yeah, we can't we can't be hit on his climb. Yeah, I mean, I can't beat the Sedanus climb. That thing can kill me in two turns. And I don't have lethal this next turn. Well, they're not going for the two-turn lethal. If I take seven, I go to eight. With the Zakama Zagana killing me. Phoenix was a great draw. That gives me a flying blocker. That was a really good draw. I just can't attack. Because... So otherwise, because this is like eight trample with the wild growth walker, eight trample with harpooner. Like if they put the, you know, if they climb the wild growth walker. That's a smart play by the opponent. They're just going to activate Zagana and then 16 me. That's a smart play being patient. I needed them to not be patient and to actually attack here and, and do stuff. So Zapek, what is the what is the solution? If you're saying that's if the problem is just streaming and playing the game, what's the solution? All right, Nari Nanya, I'll take the, I'll take you up on that. That doesn't so streaming from a different PC? That just doesn't 
that doesn't make sense to me. Like, how is that? How is that even possible? How would I stream from a different PC and play on? I don't. Even, I don't even understand how that would be possible. This matchup, I think I'm probably going to want the Crushing Canopies instead of the Nullhide Ferox because of Hadana's Climb. Plus, Crushing Canopy can also kill. Even after they flip Climb, they, you know, they use Climb to to make a flyer. Crushing Canopy can kill that that creature, and then also they're likely to have Hydroid Crisis as well. So while Vine Mare is is also just you know like basically Vine Mare is just not going to be good against the Explore creatures, and we just keep playing against the Explore creatures. So that's these are not what we want to be playing against, but um, what if I just get the Spyglass in here? I'm gonna play one Spyglass also, actually. Uh, Ethernet cable, yeah, I'm I'm plugged into my internet. I'm not using Wi-Fi. I think I'd rather get this Growth Chamber Guardian being a 4-4 and get this going over Land of plus Coil because we know we're going to be playing Phoenix the next turn. There's likely going to be a juicier Coil target than just that 3-2. We can get that 4-3. Hmm. Let's do that so we get to hit for four here, and then I'm going to play a new Growth Chamber Guardian. The router I'm using is just the one that was supplied to me by Cox Cable. Coil that, and let's get Rhythm of the Wild in play. So we can have Hasty Phoenix. All right, send both of these at Vivian. It's not a great block for our opponent. Um, yeah, that's just game. 
All right. Our our deck keeps coming back. We've been drawing pretty well and everything. Keeps keeps looking like like maybe we're done, but our deck just keeps coming back. And we're not done yet. We are not done yet. All right, going with the Harpooner instead of that Spyglass. Going with the Harpooner for Krasis. Yeah, I can I can tell it lagging on my end a little bit, like with the the game. Yeah, so I know when it lags on on your end because I can tell that it does on my end also. Same time as always. I'm going to be doing the set review f from the normal 3 to 10 stream time. All right, get rid of that. Yeah, cause see, like, I can feel like the... The stream lagging right there, or like the game lagging right there. Yeah, I just updated the graphics card yesterday, last night. That's what uh, talking with with Yud through that. It, that's what we we're thinking it could have been. So we just upgraded that, or yeah, just updated that yesterday. Hmm. Really need this land drop here for the Vivian. I don't think an attack is the best for us right here, like in the face of like an, a Zagana. I don't know. They come back with these trample things. I don't know. I'm going to sit back for just a second. Okay. Love it. So they're one mana away from activating Zagana. I'm going to grab the land to make sure we have Ravager Worm next turn. Because I I think that Vivian's probably going to die here. Um, are these settings on Ultra? I don't know. That's what it's it's on right now, I guess. It's on high, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to sit back and protect my Vivian while also attacking theirs. Yeah, I have 16 RAM. Um, whenever we, we looked at it before, and I've, I've never, I'm not really using anywhere close to the 16 RAM. Why not fight Zagana? As you can tell, like we knew about one Jade Light already in their hand. Like the Wild Growth Walker was going to be really big. And Zagana, I mean, Zagana gives a trample. If we got rid of Zagana, it wouldn't have trample. But we knew about one Jade Light already in their hand. And if they're activating Vivian, they're like, you know, good chance they could find another one like that. That Wild Growth Walker was going to be really big and scary. So I'm looking at six mana right now. 
So we need to take a land so we can do all these. All right, we got the most defense we can. Protect this Vivian. Their Vivian can just minus and kill my Phoenix anyway. Might as well just get that their Vivian out of here. Like if we would just hold our Phoenix back, if if they needed to, they could just minus three their Vivian. So I don't know, just. No, I don't I don't have any antivirus stuff on my computer. I don't I don't have any like this this computer was just built to to stream with. I don't hardly use it besides just streaming with it here. And there's not like other programs running in the background or anything like that. All right, 5 and 1. Came back after a rocky start. We defeated three Explore decks. We got our 2100 gold. We even got a Mythic. Five win Dream. We got a Palladium More. There we go. So where are the rest of these Elder Dragons in like this Ravnica storyline? Are they just like, I don't know, chilling on like Dominaria or something? You know, Palladium War here says, Sister of Nicol Bolas, survivor of the Elder Dragon War, the most vicious of her kin. Like, where? what's she doing? Well, like, Nicol Bolas is trying to, like, take over the world and stuff, and what's happening with Palladium War over there? <clears throat> what she died did she I didn't think so. they're long dead well, then why how are they in course at 2019 if they're long dead Oh, they can't planeswalk. They're just Elder Dragons, so they're they're on their plane. That makes sense. They're not planeswalkers. They so they're not over at Ravnica. Because they're over on their own plane. And I guess maybe they are dead. Um Okay, M19 was just the deep pass. They're all long dead, except for Bolas. Okay. Alright, so anyway, back to our decks. We did did quite well with it. Uh a couple a couple of things that were awesome. Uh, Rhythm of the Wild was really impressive. Uh, Ravager Worm was amazing. We we top decked Ravager Worm a few times, like where it won the game for us. And then just rekindling Phoenix. Of course, this card is great. Pell Collector was surprisingly good. I'd have to say there was a lot of times we were just kind of sat around, but only costing one mana. You can't expect it to be too much, but it was. Especially because of Rhythm of the Wild, there was a lot of times where it was three, three, four, four, which is you know that's it's a one drop. You know you can't really expect too much, and so it did its job. Of course, Vivian was one of our best cards. We certainly won a couple of games because of Vivian Ultimate, and just got a bunch of card advantage. This card was just insane good. Uh, unfortunately, we did play against a lot of green creature decks, which which meant Vine Mare didn't get to do its thing. You know we didn't get to play against. Uh, the control decks, you know, maybe like Esper where they can't target it and they just have to use Kaya's Wrath and nothing else kind of thing. Uh, didn't get to really play against anything like that. Uh, so Vinemare wasn't impressive at all for us. We did have to sideboard it out quite a bit. That was also just kind of a matchup thing. They got to be interested in, in you know, continuing to try Vinemare there. 
I'm not sure if you'd need four Vine Mares, because it kind of feels like most of the time Rekindling Phoenix is going to be a better card than Vine Mare, just almost almost all the time. And I feel like if there's if we have seven of these cards, we should have four Rekindling Phoenix and three Vine Mares. I think that would make sense. Um, besides that, our, our sideboard is okay. Didn't didn't get to do you know we did, we just didn't play like the ends of the spectrum like where a lot of these sideboard cards are for so we didn't get a whole lot of use out of a lot of these cards i'm i'm not super sold on the null hide feroxes because like whenever you're playing null hide ferox you're likely playing other spells like cinder vines i guess i don't know i'm, I'm not sure if that's if the null hides are going to be better than carnage tyrants they they're pretty good against esper Esper can spend five mana to kill it with like Mortify plus the other two. I don't know, not not super sold on those, but Canopy, like the rest of these are all pretty good. Uh, Spyglass is the other one. I'm, I'm not really sure if I like Spyglass too much in the deck. Uh, that's 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 the other sideboard card I'm not sure about. All the other sideboard cards are definitely good. Um, but yeah, Grilled Chamber Guardian plus Rhythm was a really nice combo. Um, for us but yeah I think yeah I guess my, my final thoughts on the deck was it was it was it was pretty strong I really really liked Ravager Worm that was awesome that card was awesome and of course uh, Vivian was good but I was actually pleasantly surprised on Rhythm of the Wild it it you know, making the creatures, like, giving that 1-1 counter was really important, and especially with Growth Chamber Guardian, we got a ton of value with that and just getting a bunch of Growth Chamber Guardians and just got to overwhelm opponents. And then, you know, like, we'd have, like, a pretty big battlefield very quickly, playing two mana 3-3s three and stuff, and then Ravager Worm, uh, kill their blocker, finish them off. But, yeah, I think the final thing is Vimer is the, the least impressive card, and I, I would want four Phoenix... Like maybe four Phoenix, three Vine Mare. Maybe just kind of switch those up. Um, and I, I'm not sure if Null Hide Ferox is better than Vine Mare. Null Hide is kind of awkward with you know Coil and Rhythm and Vivian and all that kind of stuff. But we didn't really get to do the play Rhythm of the Wild and then play Vine Mare kind of thing. Didn't get to really do that. Uh, that was just kind of kind of the matchups we we played. We just didn't play the Vine Mare matchups. Um, yeah, the theme of the deck is basically hexproof creatures. Not a bad theme, not a bad theme. Man, loved Ravager Worm though, and I said like, Grilled Chamber Guardian and Pelt Collector are okay, but Rhythm of the Wild both puts them both to another level basically. I think Rhythm of the Wild really helps these two cards and really helps you be able to be aggressive. This was one of the better Rhythm of the Wild shells that I've played. Uh, really liked having it with these two cards in particular. Ferox is for discard heavy decks, nothing else. There's not very many discard heavy decks. I don't know if you want to, if you're having three slots in your sideboard, if you're it's only for discard heavy decks. That's just not. That's a really, really small part of the metagame. Our discard only decks kind of thing. Like discard heavy decks. You know, like those are like like your disinformation campaign decks is like I don't know, maybe maybe like three percent of the metagame, you know, like one out of like thirty games. Thirty matches that you play. Maybe I mean maybe one out of twenty, maybe five percent, but Probably not. That seems like a, a whole lot of sideboard slots for something that narrow, if that's the case. Um, but there's Gruel Stompy. So, Veer Day, thank you so much for that donation to, to try your deck here. Uh, it worked out really well. I liked it quite a bit. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching. And <laughs> sorry for the video being a little bit of a mess at the, the beginning, but we finished